So this is how I have been creating my videos for the last two years. And usually I didn't even model a thing in a process. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this animated video in Blender. We need to make it fast, so I'm cutting corners left and right. I didn't even bother modeling a single thing in this whole process. So picture this. I had this joke for a long time. Stuart recorded the voiceover back in June, and it's been chilling on my computer, waiting for its time to shine. Well, guess what? Today's the day. Let's bring this bad boy to life. First move, block out the scene. I added a chair on the plane by using Blender Kit. I have a link to this amazing Blender add-on in this video description. Now I need a character on this chair. You might think I'm manually animating my characters, but nah, that's too much work. Back in the day, I thought I could pull it off, but turns out I'm not the animation guru. Time's precious. So what do I do? I cut corners, every damn corner. Enter Mixamo. I've got this go-to character I made ages ago, dropped it in, rigged it up, and exported some animation magic. In this video, I will merge two animations. So I had to download two characters, merge them like they're old friends at a high school reunion. You ever tried merging two personalities? It's like mixing oil and water, but hey, it works in Blender. I think that this video consists from two or three scenes. First, main character vibin' with a motivational line on Instagram. Then, we cut, moving camera, main character chillin' with a drink. Time to add the phone. I grabbed it from Blender Kit. But the screen ain't showing any motivational quotes. So I snagged a random Instagram post, photoshopped that quote in, slapped it on the phone screen in Blender. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Changed up the chair to a sofa, cause let's be real, it looked way better. And then bam, window on the wall. I took it from Blender Kit, so I wasn't sure if it is transparent. Tested with a red plane, confirmed. Needed a city view behind the window. Hit up Pexels, found a dope pic, mapped it on the plane. Looking good. I need more details in the scene. And since our guy's on the liquid vibes, added a beer bottle for that extra touch. Needed more details. So I tossed in a plant behind the sofa. Vibes improved 100%. Fine-tuned the small stuff. Removed hair and ears from my character. Who needs hair anyway? Slapped some textures from Blender Kit on the walls and floor. Added a few bottles under the bed. Then it is time to make a lip sync. Since it is a short video, I am not going to automate it. First render done. And oh boy, it needed some upgrades. I added some feedback for myself on frame.io. Then back to Blender to fix the floor texture. Change the t-shirt color to red. By making those videos, I noticed that red t-shirt performs the best. Then I fixed that weird geometry bug below the left arm. It happens every time I rig the character with Mixamo. Mixamo, you tricky beast. Phone moved too fast in the first scene, so spaced out the keyframes. Added some blinking animation for the character. And of course, decided we needed more alcohol. If you've made those decisions on a Friday night, we should start a support group. I wanted to see some movement behind the window. Animate birds flying outside? Nah, too much effort. Found a bird video on Envato Elements. Slapped it behind the window. Fingers crossed that it would look good in the final render. Rendered each frame separately. I wanted to show you how to combine the sequence in DaVinci Resolve, but I couldn't figure it out myself. So I imported it to Premiere Pro, synced it with the voiceover, did a quick color grade, and threw in some titles using Premiere Pro's transcription magic. Almost forgot sound effects. Some ambient noise is not that noticeable, but it makes a difference. And there you have it, my friends. The behind the scenes of how I cut every damn corner to make this animation pop. Final video is on my YouTube shorts. 